Unicorns! Unicorns! Yeah! Yeah, see, so it's gonna be the Unicorns! Yeah! Bust down is my favorite! Yeah, see, let me give this another shot, see? Yeah! This is gonna be the third story for making this match now, see? Yeah! We're gonna put some feathers. She's got legs for days! Yeah, see, so what the big man's trying to say, see, is we're gonna put leather straps on the match now, see? Yeah! Now go ahead and get straight, like. Got my nice little horn on! Yeah, see, so big man's quite excited, see, so we're almost done with the match now, see? Now like and subscribe, and stay up to date! So just a quick thing about safety, we use a lot of tools, epoxies, paint, and I want to make sure you read all the safety instructions on everything because you may have a allergic reaction, you may want to use gloves. I use a tool without a handle, you don't want to do that. Just want to make sure you're safe and you perform all these tutorials at your own risk, you follow them at your own risk, I'm just here to inform you and just make sure you have fun. I'm going to try and include links for most of the materials in the description. So for this tutorial, you're going to need all your finished painted belt buckles, your middle painted respirator, this leather strap, it's one inch wide, some steel wool would be nice, something that doesn't have soap on it, you're going to want some low priced aviator sunglasses with a lens that's wide enough, a hot glue gun to glue the aviator lenses or to glue the middle respirator if you don't want to use the epoxy glue, which is this, you're also going to want a black sharpie, a permanent marker, something to write on the leather. We're going to want some metal rivets if you want to use these, or you can sew leather if you know how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to get the leather strap and we're going to take the steel wool. You can see here, I've already started because I wanted to test it to make sure it actually worked. You want to take the steel wool and just rough it up. Just beat it like a skagman, just rip it up. You want to make it look rough because your mask looks beat up. It's not new. Just rough it all up. Do this before you take out the, put the straps in. I kind of wish I did that, but I'll put that in the video. So right now it's kind of like talking to the future or the past. So get your leather and just draw lines on it, on the edges. If you want to look at reference images on Google, you can just draw some lines. Oh yeah, draw my lines. Ooh, the boo boo. Draw my lines. Da -da -da. Draw my lines. Draw my lines. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, don't forget the other side. And it may not show up as well on the other side either. So first, you want to just take this and slide it into the back. Whatever side you want to be on the front, you're going to want to slide that in first. And then once you slide it in through here, slide it into the other on the other end. So it should look like this. Or now get a belt buckle and run it through like this. Just run it in through one side, over the loop, and then back in. And then you can move it out of the way if you want by pulling on it. And then get your mask, and what you want to do is 
pull it through here in the back, like this. And then you wanna do the same thing again for this tensioner. You wanna go in one side like this, over the, over the middle, and then back down in. And then that's complete. You want to do, don't worry about cutting anything yet. We're going to get to that later. Just focus on this. Because we're going to leave, use the excess for the top part. And over here, just do the same thing. We just have a lot more leather to work with. Go out in one side, over the middle, and then back in. And then here, go in the, from the inside, go to the outside, and then over. And then here we go again, go into the inside, over the middle, and then back in. And then now this part should be on. Now here, you want to just uh, keep adjusting these tensioners. I would suggest with the left one where it's shorter, you want to get this the length you want so that this is in the back of your head. And I would focus on pulling the slack from the main part. And any slack you have, pull it out from over here where it's super long. So that you don't have to cut it over here. In fact, if you, want to, if you can, just want to get this, the length you want, you can adjust it with the middle part. Put it on your face and just feel around in the back of your head to make sure when you have that middle buckle in the back of your head, you're good to go. And I would also leave more slack, unlike I am right now, so that other people can adjust it and wear your mask. I have a pretty big head. You don't have to get it perfect now, you just want to get it almost there because you can use the leather tensioners to adjust it. Once you finish that, repeat the same process for the other side. But instead, you want to pull all the slack out your long end. And once you get this part done, you can essentially wear it now. And you want the uh, you want the belt buckle in your lower, right here in the middle, but sort of on the back, on the lower back. And once you've gotten that, you're gonna cut this. Now make sure you leave enough slack. I'm gonna leave more than enough. There you go, your first part of the little straps. Now this is the part I'm gonna use those metal, metal rivets. I'm gonna rivet them right here. And then I'm gonna do this with the tensioner. But first, before I rivet anything, 
I'm gonna get this right. Is it the same thing it did for the other D rings? Now get that part on there, and then we use all your slack to wrap this around here for your rivets. I usually go from the outside in so it matches the other two. And make sure you have enough room for these. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and mark two little holes. So I'm going to use this razor blade. What I'm going to do is put it in the hole where the dot is. And I'm essentially just going to keep turning it like this. Now don't try and cut the leather. Just Literally just push the blade into it and turn. And I'm gonna flip it over and repeat the process again until I have a nice little hole there. And I'm gonna do it for the other side too. Now I'm going to get one of these rivets and I'll make sure it'll go through the hole. And it does. And if it doesn't like this one, get your razor blade and keep playing with it. Fold it over about this much. All right, I'm gonna get my mask, make sure. One about this much of slack. And then once I get that like that with these holes, I'm going to hold it down. I'm gonna mark it right there on the bottom. You don't want the Sharpie or a little tiny mark. Pull it out. I'm gonna reach it back over, take my Sharpie again, and I'm gonna push the Sharpie into the hole so I can mark the other side. I should have tiny little holes here. And repeat the razor blade process. I smell delicious. Now I'm gonna get these tools that came out with the rivets. I'm gonna get two sets of these. The one with the long piece and the short piece. If you want to make it easier, you can undo these straps. And just run it through the top, out the back, and then put these in there. Push the leather rivets through both holes. For here, this part here has this, you can see the divot. What you want to do is put this in there. 
And then you place one of your rivets into the hole. Hold it on there, and then you get this other piece. And one side is curved or concave. One side is not. You want to put the convex, concave side on top of that. And then you grab a hammer and beat it. Scream at me! It doesn't take much and then it, you'll know when it's on there because it's not going to come apart. It's on there for good. And then do the same thing for the other one. Why aren't you stabbing me? Now you can put your other leather straps back on if you took them off. Now before you cut any excess, make sure it fits your head. You're happy with it? You cut the excess. Now I always leave a lot for now. You just made the mask. You don't know how much you're gonna need really. For other people trying on the mask, you don't wanna you can always cut more off later, so don't worry about it now. And there you go. You got the leather. Your leather is now complete. You have really cool, awesome leather straps. So the next thing we're gonna do. Get your sunglasses and rip the lenses out. Just keep bending the metal, don't focus on the lens. And when you bend the metal enough, the lens will pop out. Now I'm gonna turn on my hot glue gun and wait for it to heat up. Get your hot glue gun ready, nice and hot. And the way we're going to glue these on is we're going to push it down, place it on here, push it in. You want it to be flush with the mask so you can't really see the cracks inside. Once you have it flushed on there, push down. Go ahead and put hot glue in around the edge while you have it held down. And be careful not to burn your hands. And then it should be glued on there. And repeat that process for the other side. Got cool shades in him. Whereas when you go for your car ride to the beach, you know. And make sure the hot glue is 
uh, not hot anymore when you put it on your face. Okay, now that we have that part done, we're gonna glue this pizza now. Get your epoxy and start mixing some up. It's a good idea to wear gloves with this epoxy. You can also use the hot glue gun instead if you don't want to use epoxy. I need more brown, come on. No, no more white, I need brown. Shoot ba 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 da boop boop ba doo boop. Shoot it up ba ba. All right, so this part is difficult to get in. If you want to get it in before you mix the epoxy, that's fine. I've done this too many times. But uh, put this in here. If you think you need to, you can also take some more off the sides, especially with the new paint. Once you get it in there and you're happy with it, get your glue and careful to just put it on the outside. Gotta worry about getting it all the way around. This piece isn't easy to get in or out, so you just need to get enough on a few of the sides. <laughs> 